Once upon a time, long ago, there lived a small cottage beside a beautiful forest, a young farmer and his wife. Their habit would be complete if only they could have a son. One spring day, happy in her work, the good wife opened her shutters to the morning sun. Rose, lovely Rose. Thomas, never have I seen before a flower of such beauty. <gasps> why, why, it's a tiny babe. It, it, Thomas? Oh, Thomas! My own little son. No, no bigger than... Indeed, he is no bigger than my thumb. What shall we call him? Let's call him Thomas, after you. I, little Tom. Tom Thumb. Shh. Then the tiny babe grew, a little, and he learned to crawl. And he learned to walk. Come, Tommy, try. Step. Oh, fine. Step. <gasps> oh! And he learned to talk. One day, the little farm awakened to a new dawn. And little Tom awakened to find himself a big boy. At least he thought he was big enough to help his father with the chores. <laughs> All right. All right. We're coming. Hey, don't be a pig. All little boys make mistakes. But in spite of his tiny size, little Tom tried his best to be a big boy, to help his father with the farm's many chores. <gasps> yes, little Tom was a great help to his father. Though he tried his best to be a big boy in a big world, each day ended about the same. Oh, Tommy, dear. I don't know how I shall ever keep you from harm. Little Tom dreamed his dreams. If only he could be big. Why was he always such a nuisance? He knew. He would go away. He would be a knight, big and brave, like Sir Lancelot. Yes, he would go away. When the rooster crowed next morning, little Tom was not in his bed. Howdy. Looking for something? Yes, Mr. Rabbit. I'm looking for a boat. I'm going to King Arthur's court to be a knight. I'm going to Camelot. Camelot? Suffering sassafras. Know how far away that is? Hmm. Let's see. Gotta have a boat, huh? So the old rabbit gave little Tom a little boat. And he drifted on into glorious dreams of King Arthur and his knights in the magic faraway city of Camelot. Ha! <sighs> I can't believe me eyes. 
It's a little man. A little man. Are you truly real? Or are you a pixie? Oh, sir. Uh, I'm Tom Thumb. Can you tell me the way to Camelot? Tell you? <laughs> Indeed, my lad, your dear new friend Limbo will take you to Camelot. You will? Cross me heart. But once there, me lad, you must help Limbo. Oh, I'm, I'm a big boy, Mr. Limbo. <laughs> you are tiny, tiny. And that is precisely why you can help me. And my little pet, Satan. <gasps> Come, Satan. Show little Tom how I have trained you to bring me gold. Aha. Uh -huh. That's my pet. Now listen, me lad. At Camelot is a treasure. A treasure of gold and precious gems Vast beyond belief, the richest in all this world. It is ours, ours, me boy. You must but help Limbo as Satan does to... Oh, oh, oh. My little pet has found us gold for our journey. Gold which the stupid innkeeper will never miss. <laughs> no, little man. You are a thief, Mr. Limbo. I will never! Little man! Little man! Stop! I am your friend! Wait! Or oh, he is too fast for me! It was little wonder that the raven thought the tiny creature crawling in the grass was a worm. He looked like a worm. The raven carried little Tom high into the sky. Far below, his loved home vanished in the distance. Why, oh why, was he ever so foolish to wander away? And where was he going now in this world, so much larger than he had ever imagined it? of Camelot were gathered that night for feast and celebration, the great King Arthur and his valiant Knights of the Round Table. was caught but moments ago, Your Majesty, in the great moat that surrounds the castle. Help! Help! Let me out! Egad, a talking fish. A talking fish? Unbelievable. Incredible. Most strange. Strange indeed. And, ha-ha, what have we here? A sprite. Come out and show yourself. Come out, I say. Where am I? In Camelot, my tiny one. Among friends. In truth, among the bravest in all Christendom. Then, then, you must be King Arthur. Aye, that I am. And who might you be? Tom, Your Majesty. 
Tom Thumb. Aye, tis a most fitting name. For surely you are no bigger than my thumb. But most anxious to be a big, brave knight, Your Majesty. Oh, ho, and why not? Tis not always size that counts. Eh, Lancelot? Aye, little Tom, true valor is not a size, but rather of spirit, courage, and resolve. And that he truly seems to have. Aye, milady. But first we must find for him a suit of armor. And knightly weapons, my lord. A sword, a shield, a coat of mail, a trusty lance, aye, and a noble steed. To Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb. So came Tom to Camelot and was soon the idol of the court. The queen's small golden thimble became little Tom's helmet. Her ivory knitting needle made his long straight lance and his shield, well, that's the buckle from Sir Galahad's pants. And now all he needs is a trusty steed. True, but where to find a horse for one so small? Aye, tis indeed a problem. And a problem it was. Until one day, while visiting in the royal kitchen, he saw it. My horse! My horse! There was no time to lose. Aha! Jeez! Tom ran off to talk to the steward, who talked to the chief steward, who talked to the Lord High Steward, who talked to the king. And finally, did it. <laughs> Little Tom had found his horse, his noble steed, spirited, proud, and brave. Tom, well done, and thy little steed knoweth well that discretion is ever the better part of valor. And that thy helmet, Sir Lancelot, doth make for them a most safe refuge. Inside Sir Lancelot's helmet, the two friends lived in comfort and security. And little Tom worked hard every day at becoming a knight. Touché, Tom, touché. Thou art improving. Now, once more. From Sir Lancelot, he had lessons in swordsmanship and... George! And horsemanship. The castle echoed with the sound of... George! As Tom galloped his little steed in mock combat. George! That sometimes turned out to be quite real.
the king's great jewel, the emerald amulet. Hurry, seize him. Faster, faster. You're stealing the king's treasure. That's my pet. Come, come, come. Ah, Satan, look out. Satan, bring me the jewel. Hurry. Satan, do not stop. Satan, come, come, Satan. <laughs> Faster, you clumsy beast, faster! Satan! Satan, bring me the jewel! Quick, Horus, run! Call the guards! Warn the king! Satan, Satan, do not stop! Oh, you stupid little beast, bring me the jewel, Satan! Satan, don't stop! Come, Satan! Satan, stop, you stupid fool. Stop, stop. Bring me the jewel. Oh, stop, you stupid beast. Stop. Hear me. Stop. Satan, Satan, bring me the... Ah, he help. I'm ruined. I'm ruined. You scoundrel. Hold or we'll... Toss him tight, me lad. Your Majesty, we've caught the rogue. Open the door. My noble knight, because the smallest of us has acted with the courage of the greatest, because he has proved that valor is not of size, but of spirit, I now dub him Knight of the Round Table. Arise, Sir Tom Thumb, and ask your king a boon, your dearest wish. Now, may I go home to see my mother and... Ho, 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 ho. Of course, my little Tom. We shall take you. Take you so that they may see the bravest boy in my kingdom. Tom, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> 